All right, so now uh, go ahead and pause the video for a few minutes and look at this question and give it a shot. Okay, to classify each of the following as an element, a compound, or a mixture. So remember, the way to do this is to look at these substances and see if you can find their name on the periodic table. That's the easy way to determine if something is an element. So, iron, that is a pure element. Its chemical symbol is Fe, and it's on the periodic table. Oxygen, that's a pure element. Its name is on the periodic table. Its symbol is O. Mercury oxide contains two elements. It contains mercury and it contains oxygen. Therefore, it cannot be an element because it has more than one particle, more than one element inside of it. It's made up of two elements. So mercury oxide is pure, but it's a compound. All of the, all of the particles inside mercury oxide look like this, HGO. Pancake syrup is a mixture. It has sugar, and water and minerals and something that makes it look brown because sugar is white and water is clear and minerals are white so there's lots of different components of of pancake syrup so it's a mixture carbon dioxide carbon is an element oxygen is an element if they're stuck together then this must be a compound co2 different elements inside of the chemical formula Molecules which contain one hydrogen atom and one chlorine atom. Pure compound, because if every molecule inside the sample looks the same, I know it's pure, but the, the particles that are inside that sample have more than one element. Therefore, it must be a compound, not an element. It has hydrogen and oxygen, just like water has hydrogen, excuse me, this has hydrogen and chlorine, just like water has hydrogen and oxygen. Baking soda is a pure compound. Sodium bicarbonate, sodium hydrogen carbonate. So baking soda has four elements, sodium, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. <laughs> but baking soda is still pure because if I had a really powerful microscope and I zoomed in on a sample of baking soda, every single particle would look like this. They would all look the same. If all the particles look the same, then it's pure. But if it's made of more than one element, then it must be a compound. And finally, baking powder is a mixture. And that's okay if you're not familiar with the difference between baking powder and baking soda. But baking powder is a mixture that contains baking soda and something else, usually tartaric acid or some kind of acid. Okay, go ahead and pause the video again and take a shot at this one. Okay, classify each of the following as a homogeneous mixture or a heterogeneous mixture. So again, we're thinking about this pancake syrup. Pancake syrup is homogeneous because when you have a sample of syrup and you pour the first bit on your pancakes, it tastes the same as the last part that you pour on your pancakes. So if it's mixed up evenly, then it must be homogeneous. Baking powder is... Uh, a baking powder is not even a mixture. I don't know why that one's on here. We, oh no, that's baking soda. I'm getting confusing myself. So baking powder, we said, is a mixture of baking soda and tartaric acid. So generally, those are mixed up so well that it just looks like a powder. So if something looks uniform and you can't see any different parts of the substance, then it must be homogeneous. So baking powder is homogeneous. Pizza. So I'm thinking about pepperoni pizza, or really any type of pizza. What's on the bottom is crust. What's on the top is cheese. So they're not mixed up evenly. I only find crust on the bottom. I only find cheese on the top. If they have different, different, uh, unif uh, different composition throughout, then that must be heterogeneous. So the word hetero, the prefix hetero, means different. The prefix homo means same. So pizza has a different composition, so it's heterogeneous. A cup of coffee 
if you've mixed it up really well, has the same composition, homogeneous. An orange, we went over this, an orange has a peel, seeds, juice, lots of different parts. And all those parts are in different places, so it's heterogeneous. Same with a human. A human has lots of different parts, and they're all in different places. So it's heterogeneous. You're definitely going to get something different if you put a human inside of a blender and turn it on. What comes out the other end is definitely not the same. So uh, remember, that's a good trick to remember if something is homogeneous or heterogeneous. Does it change when you put it inside of a blender? A rusty iron nail. This one's tricky, but if you think about an iron nail, an iron nail is, uh, iron is pure, and rust is something that, um, that happens when iron interacts with water and oxygen, it turns into iron oxide. So in a rusty iron nail, on the outside you have rust, and if you cut the nail open, on the inside you would have iron, because the nail only rusts from the outside. The inside of the nail is pure iron, the outside of the nail is pure iron oxide. So that's a heterogeneous mixture.